Chopper. Chopper, 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 chopper. Wow. You only got to see such scenes when Bob Marley was filming some reggae videos in Jamaica. Now you are seeing them from the deep villages of Africa. Look at it. Look at it. You love it? Unaipenda. Unaipenda is a Swahili word. But you love it. So when uh, a man says that seducing a girl, they be like, Nakupenda. I like how the Swahili community in Mombasa, in the, in the coast, how they do talk, how they express their feelings, how they talk to their ladies. Nikona dream could talk a block, yani get rich. My name is Gossi Africa, I'm a traveler and a YouTuber based in Kenya, Africa. So I'm with my friend here, bro. Jinago Nani? Nixon. Nixon? Mm -hmm. Nixon, you are Masai? Mm -hmm. Wow. Nixon is looking after herds of cattle. And I joined him, you know. This reminds me of my times as a young boy. I used to sit at similar places, similar areas, looking at my father's flock. We have some sheep there passing. So, the area looks deserted. But during our times, we had so many trees and the, the little boy used to sit under the trees. Then try to uh, visualize, have a dream, think about being successful at some point. Think about having your own flock as well. Think about a time when you won't be staying at your father's house and uh, you need to have probably similar bulls. But hey, we never used to have such big dream. But we thought we could at some point have bulls. The way uh, our parents said, yeah, we used to, to keep some very big bulls. Whenever we had visitors, I remember we could as, as sometimes slaughter a bull just to, for our friends to enjoy. It's on Christmas time, yeah, when families are coming together and uh, having this get together. You know, it, whenever it's Christmas time, it's December. Families back then used to gather together and celebrate together, you know, but times are changing and that's why I'm saying that the African culture is eroding so fast. The African culture very soon it's going to extinct, yeah, but luckily we have those our brothers from the Caribbean, those guys who are still in the Caribbean still behave like a one family despite being uh, different countries, several countries in the island, they still uh, behave like one big family. And uh, I'm not happy how someone from the Caribbean, they want to come back, you know. Those people in the Caribbean were um, got there through slave trade. That's my belief, yeah. Their forefathers were once Africans. They came from Africa and you know, they, all, they want to establish their roots. They don't know where, where, where they came from. Yeah. And uh, these passports, the visa requirement should not be there. This guy should be allowed to come back to Africa. You know, it will hurt me so much if I had someone from the Caribbean getting denied a visa to come to Kenya, getting denied a visa to come to Tanzania, to Uganda. Uh, Ghana, Nigeria, yeah, we need to welcome our brothers back home. By the way, these guys are still appreciating our culture, our forefathers' culture so well. Wow. I don't know why Africans, the, the unity we heard before, I don't know why we don't have unity anymore. 
I don't know why we no longer worship the way our forefathers used to worship. We no longer share the way our forefathers used to do it. We no longer uh, appreciate our brothers or sisters the way we used to do back then. Yo. I remember times when we could uh, gather a whole village, yeah, just to celebrate together. Whenever someone is getting married from your village, you guys could call people from a decent place so long as you have a relationship, you have a blood relationship, a clan, you know, a clan is so big. But then most people of my clan have never seen them. But Back then, we used to call them and celebrate together. So and so getting married. <laughs> Ladies were that important back then, and they used to respect themselves. What does that tell you? You need still to respect yourself. Yeah, men, you are were, were very important in the society. Men were there to protect the family, the clan. And if you dared misbehave, the clan was there to correct you. They, they, were, they, they were there to make sure that you don't repeat the mistake again. They assume that everyone in that clan belongs to the clan. So they have a responsibility, you say over you or, or new. They have a responsibility to, to correct you whenever you go wrong. Anytime they have a meeting and you don't attend the meeting, they could... Uh, they they could uh, they, they could they could come to your homestead where are you keeping your god and they will they will pick the best to go and slaughter yeah and you cannot ask them the law the law was uh, recognized this behavior recognized uh, the customary law they knew that uh, the clan does this and this whenever someone misbehaves yeah and you know whenever the clan is able to regulate some behaviors very early you will never <laughs> reach a point whereby the government yeah the national law the constitution will apply on you because you have already been punished and just in case the criminal justice system if they think of jailing you your clan could still come and uh, defend you. They'd be like, oh, release him. We're going to be responsible for his behavior or for her behavior. If you are to pay a certain uh, fine, your clan could give the fine, then take you home. But let me tell you something. You... You could be you could be safe being punished by the government than being punished by your own clan. You know, I once saw some guy um, being put in a sack. Then on top of the sack, they sprinkle sisal sisal water. That that water from sisal, and you know, uh, it makes you keep on scratching yourself. So they could. To keep the sack. You remember you are inside. They keep the sack outside where the sun is so hot. If there is no sun, then they could <laughs> then they, they, they could uh, light a fire. Then they keep you um, beside the fire. Bro, you would wish you you you, you go jail uh, for 100 years. So my friend just um, left. Uh, his other keto at, at distant places though so he's going without telling me a goodbye but I, I I was to ask him who cut these trees yeah you see someone cut the trees and I guess the community complained why are they cutting trees so he has never got the opportunity to burn the charcoal as intended and you know the best time to burn the charcoal is when the tree is still very, you say, very green, yeah? Before it dries up, that's when you burn the charcoal. Wow.
That's it. So now that she has left, I need to leave as well. Let me go this side. Being an African is a calling. And being a Pan-African is 10 times the calling. Big up to everyone who has been coming back to watch my videos. Thank you so much. Whoever has been subscribing to my channel, yeah, give the video a like, share the link with your friends. Let's spread the gospel, yeah, the African gospel. Whoever thinks that Africa is a slum, yeah, it's a ghetto. Africa is beautiful. Can you imagine living in this good land, this beautiful land? And for your information, this is a communal land. These guys don't divide the land between themselves. So you just bring your kettle to this point. You feed them, you graze them, then once they are full, go back home, take them home. You are not required to subdivide the land. We have a council of elders which is responsible for that. We have very powerful council of elders. These people decide on whom the community is going to elect as member of parliament. They're going to decide on whom you guys are going to vote for presidency. That's how serious it is. And whoever doesn't listen to them, I think they pronounce a curse or something. Yeah, but you have to listen to them. Though lately we have democracy, but it's not that much applicable. I talked to, the, to certain boys some days ago, and they were much against women being leaders. They want their women to stay at home and uh, look after kids, cook for them. You don't want your woman to work. That's bad. For me, I would be happy if we had a woman president. If our president was a woman, you know. I've interacted with women at different... Uh, women are more concerned about our welfare. They are more caring, they want to know who got this, who never got this, who got the opportunity to do this and this, so we need to give it to someone else to benefit from it. But for a man, they'd be like, oh, you come from my locality, then you need to benefit more than the other team. That's just men. But for women are so loving. So if you give a woman the privilege to lead, you will never, you never regret. Even at your house, make sure your, your lady is more involved in everything, yeah? Give her the powers, empower her to do all, all you are doing, then uh, and I, I promise you, everything is going to be smooth. You know, a lady can more task. You, a man, as a man, you can more task. For me, I need to, whenever I'm holding this camera and I'm talking, I need to focus on the camera. I can't be focusing on the camera and then at the same time I'm looking at the water flow then definitely you saw? you see? I even forgot what I was saying so if I dare more tasks then something is going to go amiss
Wow. I need to sit here. As an African boy, it's your duty to protect your father's property. It's your duty to make sure such a flock goes to the wilderness and uh, gets food. It's your duty to make sure that once your father's flock is full, you have to take them to the river. You have to make sure that your siblings are safe. Yeah? Being a boy, in an African setup, you are a very important uh, figure. So, whoever thinks that being an African is that easy, it's not. It's a calling. Africa Go see Africa The goal is to showcase Africa to the world Africa is beautiful So I'm trying to hang on this thing So if it does slide a bit then I'm in for it I find myself inside Let me give you some good views I like giving you some amazing views, some amazing sounds. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. I don't know whether I'm the only person who likes the sound at this place. I love natural sounds. I can even sleep somewhere to listen and birds sing. Though let me tell you something. Probably this is African and you guys don't know about it. If you ever hear birds singing so continuously without a stop and probably they are on a certain tree then please avoid that tree because chances are that we have snakes there or we have something dangerous there they are trying to send a warning to you you need to avoid it It says that we have an animal there and they will never sing whenever a human being is lying down there. Not unless you are dead there. But they will, never, they will always sing when we, you, we have a dangerous animal or a snake. The river is almost drying up. The rain season are gone. So very soon, the, the locals here will be digging balls, yeah, digging wells for their cattle to survive, for their cattle to drink from.
Can you imagine dig digging a, a well from this rocky area? Someone was asking, bro, you, you, you are fond of uh, talking so good story about Africa. Does it mean that you will always be in Africa? No, not really. I love Africa. I love talking good story about Africa. I can always be in other continents. I can be in Europe, in America, in Australia. But still, Africa is, it, is in me. I will be still in your continent. And uh, my mind is still in my motherland. I will still be talking ghost stories about Africa. Yeah? I'm, 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 I'm in your continent probably to relate what happens there to what is happening in Africa. Do we have the same peace in your continent? Do you have the same peace uh, we have in Africa? Do people welcome uh, their neighbors the way we do in Africa? Do we share in your continent the way we do in Africa? Wow. As an African boy, once you get circumcised, everyone believes that you are an adult irrespective of your age you have to be responsible for whatever you do so it's only in africa whereby you get circumcised and instead of staying with your family and everyone is taking care of you your mother you know that's what happens in other world so in africa you be at the river banks like this one handing you have to hunt for fish, you have to hunt for all that can, uh, yeah, anything that can be hunted, yeah, you know, whether it's edible or not, you hunt it, you feel good, you have accomplished something, you know, a win is a win, <laughs> whether a negative win or a positive win, a win is a win. So, basically you are here to get added then when at the time when you have that wound you know whoever has ever stayed with a circumcised person you have that wound yeah instead of applying medicine from the hospital you use uh, these feces the white feces from a lizard yeah or a bird <laughs> My friends from the slaughter. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. I told you a win is a win. This guy just won himself a skin hide. So according to him, he's taking it to his dogs. By chances are that he's going to eat it by himself. You know, everyone here behaves this series. You are friends. Malaika. Nakupenda Malaika. Kindege. Kukuaza Kindege. This song should be dedicated to Africa. The love we have for Africa is exceptional. So I'm walking on the road, a uh, very dusty road. I see rich men walking with vehicles, big vehicles. That's Africa. The gap between the rich and the poor, very wide. I don't call myself poor, but I'm walking. Someone else driving uh, an SUV. 
Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to the goose sounds from the birds. Wow. You know the African way, you don't expect a man to be walking with their camera, they are facing a camera. So people are wondering, who is this guy? And there is that other person who is wondering why this guy wearing a jacket when it's too hot. It's very hot. And uh, I don't like removing a jacket and carrying it with my hands. So I chose to just wear it until I get to the house. Meanwhile, I need to end the video from this point. My name is Gausi Africa. I'm a traveler and a YouTuber from Kenya, Africa. Have a good bye.